And let's return to our main story, the resignation of the BBC's Director General, George Entwistle. He's faced growing criticism over a Newsnight report this month that wrongly implicated the former Conservative Treasurer, Lord McAlpine, in allegations of child abuse. We spoke to Mr Entwistle on Five Live Breakfast yesterday where he said he was not aware of the Newsnight item until after it was broadcast. Well, Martin Campbell is a former advisor to the media watchdog Ofcom. He now chairs the Broadcast Journalism Training Council. And we can also speak to Childline founder Esther Ranson, who's been closely following the controversy engulfing Newsnight since it emerged that they didn't run their report into child abuse allegations surrounding Jimmy Savile. Good morning to both of you. Morning. Good morning. Uh, Martin, may I ask you, first of all, uh, your reaction to George Entwistle's departure? Was he right to go? Oh, absolutely, no doubt at all. Um, when, when, you, when you dig down to, to the bottom of this, and, and the BBC is all about trust, I heard you uh, uh, talking earlier about uh, you know, the, the badges uh, and, uh, and the BBC and the cards that you get. It is all about trust. I mean, as you say, I chair the Broadcast Journalism Training Council, and any of the young journalists going through our courses will learn the sort of things that needed to be done that Newsnight obviously forgot about. They'd learn them in the first couple of days. So it was basic stuff. But I think the, the shock for people looking in at the BBC structure is, is that he's, I mean, he took the need to know basis to, to an amazing level. I was going to say you could start a whole new module, couldn't you, on the mistakes made in this particular report? Yeah, you could. It's, it's very sad. I mean, I think that the whole thing, I mean, I, I do see an, an intrinsic um, link, as far as the future is concerned, with the Newsnight crisis and George Entwistle going and the, the Philip Schofield uh, this morning, Day Bark, because I think two things are, are likely to happen. I think the BBC structure will never be the same again. And I think, actually, traditional news broadcasting will probably never be the same again because somebody has to look at the intertwining of all the elements of news these days that includes the Internet. And I know people say you can't regulate the Internet, but it includes the Internet and blogs and newspapers and broadcasting. So, you know, I know Levison is just looking at newspapers, but now something has to be looked at as far as traditional news is concerned because more and more we're finding... Um, that traditional media are reporting internet rumours and sort of hiding behind the, um, the, the, the cloak that the internet isn't regulated. And so, yeah, saying things like, well, something scurrilous is on the internet. We can't repeat it because we're regulated, so we'll say someone else is saying something. We won't say what it is. People can guess what it is. And off people go. And, uh, and the traditional media is, is effectively defaming people by default. And, uh, and so I think regulation has to change as well.